Hello guys and very welcome to this video update on my Volkswagen Golf City Strummer. And in this video it is time to put on some paint in the engine bay. And here am I mixing an epoxy paint that are etching and I have used this for many of my projects and uh, I have to say that I am very pleased with it. So I will just mix this up very well and then take the car on the outside and apply a pretty thin coating of everything. And you can also see that I use a screen here to screen my paint because I don't want uh, any unnecessary debris or dust in my paint. It's enough of dust in the air, so I don't need the extra dust in the paint there. And this layer is really important because if you don't have cleaned everything before you do this then it doesn't matter how good your second or third layer will be it will sooner or later come off if this first layer will come up first <laughs> so well it's important to have a good primer on that will hook on and grab into the bare metal and also grab into that old paint there so that's why i am using this paint from the beginning and it is really hard as you can see here to reach all of those corners and the small areas that uh, you pretty much don't see but you really need to have paint there anyway because if you don't have that stuff will rust Here it is on the inside again and uh, the engine bay are now primed. So now I just will apply some other stuff to seal up those cracks here. I don't know the name for it in English but uh, uh, we just say karosseri shit here in Sweden. So not that kind of shit but uh, yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> And this is a layer of uh, stone chip protection that I will use just on the lower part here because it uh, is not looking good at all but it is uh, really good protection. So now that's applied and it now needs to dry. And then I will try to uh, replicate this surface uh, that you will see here. The lower part here has been completely blasted off when the guys did the sandblasting there. So I am using uh, a kind of body here that uh, I think that the factory also used. I'm not sure but I was trying really really hard here to have this um, try to have this to look the same as the original, try to find that structure and uh, well I have to say that uh, that was not easy at all. In the end there, I have to say that I was uh, pretty satisfied with the result anyway. So now when that have dried out, I will just start to sanding everything. And you can see that I am using a sanding rag here. And that's really nice because that will allow me to reach all of those corners and uh, tight areas uh, without to have any paper that I need to uh, form to the shapes of the firewall here, for example. So it's really important to take 
the time here to have it done uh, really nice and uh, well because uh, I don't want uh, the paint to come loose after a few years so that's why it's so important to have everything sanded first. And here you can see that I have finally started to apply one coat of filler. So this first layer are pretty thick. And uh, as you soon will see that um, it will <laughs> take me a really long time to apply this. And uh, that's because I am using the same paint gun for both the normal paint and this uh, filler. So normally you will have one special paint gun for filler and uh, another one for the normal paint. And what I mean then is that you will have a paint gun with bigger nozzles for the, for the filler, of course. And here you can see what I mean. I am going very slow here. I know I could have speedened this up, but uh, I like to have it like this. Or maybe I should have speeded it up anyway, but however, here it is. That's more like it. <laughs> and it was around here that I decided to uh, even paint the roof and uh, I did find this rust here that I really needed to take care of. So this is from that short video that I did post this uh, weekend, if you did see that. So this was the only rust hole that I did find on this upper section. We have to see in the lower section later on. So now I will just apply some primer again. Not primer, I mean filler. And I will also put on some filler on the other areas that I now have done some sanding to. And you can also see that it is uh, much faster now because I have a lot of more thinner in the filler. Because this is the last coating that I put on with filler. And here was some dents on the roof, so I took care of those before I paint everything, of course. And now, finally, it is time to put on the top coat. And this is the L90C color code, Alpine White. That uh, are the original color for this car. I have to mix it with the three parts of uh, paint and the one part of hardener. And then I uh, apply around 30 to 40 percent of uh, thinner. And I always put on two coats and the first coat here is a little thicker so I have around maybe 20 to 30 percent of thinner in this paint here and later I will have up to 40 percent
And I am always nervous when I am doing this because it's so hard to find the perfect uh, mix here between uh, the thickness of the paint because if you put on too much paint it will flow away and uh, just a too little of it it will look really dry so it's really hard to reach that balance. And sadly I have to stop recording here because the camera start to clog up with a lot of paint dust here so I don't want to risk it anymore. And I also have to concentrate on the paint job. And here is finally the end result. And I am so pleased with it. To have this uh, result, uh, I mean, that's just fantastic. I will try to show you with help of those lights. And uh, it actually looks uh, worse in those lights than it will do out in the sun later on. It always used to look a lot better when it comes on the outside. And you have to keep in mind here, guys, that I am just an amateur. I have learned all of this stuff just by myself, by learning and burning. Or learning by doing. So, yeah. However... This will be everything for now guys and uh, thank you so much for watching, uh, make sure to subscribe to see more of it later on. Take care guys and goodbye.